Yo, what's up guys, we're back for some more VGC. I've not been posting these too often on the channel because I didn't want to oversaturate you guys with it. However, I have been doing some VGC battles on my live stream, so make sure you guys always check those out. But yeah, let's jump straight into this one. I'm using a new team today. I thought it's pretty, I've, I've used the Weezing team quite a lot now and it's probably time I try a few things out, some more, more teams. I'm still gonna you know, pursue the Weezing team and still build it and make improvements to it. It's just right now, not too sure. So yeah, today I'm gonna to be using this new team here. Uh, I say new, it's still got a few things that we're very familiar to, okay? So Weezing, we're pretty familiar with that now. Uh, Gyarados and also the Togedomaru in the Raichu slot. I'm sorry, Arcadius. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not saying I'm gonna permanently use this team. This is a rental team that I found. Uh, I'm not sure who created this, but I will leave a link in the description and it'll be on screen uh, to credit the person who created this. It's called Weezing Zap, which is kind of nice. I like that, I like that. So yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna refresh the rankings and see where I currently stand in the ranked uh, ladder. Obviously I had that awful night where I lost like seven in the row before I went, well, the night before I went for the tournament. All right, so currently 14,000th in the world. Um, so I've seen better days for sure. But a uh, new team, we're trying it out. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this team more than the, uh, well, more than either my Weezing team or Arcadius's Raichu and Gyarados team. It's kind of like a mix between the two. But it is, it's nice. I, I would personally go with Raichu still for Vault Switch and for, you know, Brick Break and for a faster fake out. But okay. Cinderace, Extra Drill, uh, Togekiss, RK9, Rotom, Water, and uh, Sylveon. I've seen a lot a lot of Sylveon recently. How about, how about you guys? Um, so the question is, can I start with Togedomaru and Gyarados? That's the question I should ask myself all the time with this team. I think I can right here. I think I can do that pretty safely. He's not going to lead Extra Drill, Cinderace, or RK9 against a, against a Gyarados. I think we're good to lead. I think we're good to lead Gyarados and Togedomaru here. Then we need some sweepers in the back. I think I'm going to go with my Excadrill. Looks good. It's scarfed, so it can take out his Excadrill, his Rotom, and his Cinderace. Not Maybe not in one shot. And it can take out his Sylveon and his Togekiss. So Excadrill, my, my Excadrill, it looks sick right now against his whole team. The question is the final Pokemon. Could it be the Dralodon? I think, I think it could be. I think it very well could be. All right, that's my team. Two Steel Boys in the back. Two steel boys in the back, so we do have to be careful. Actually, we have to be, oh, maybe not. Maybe Geraldon was not a good choice. Maybe bravery was a good was a choice there. Bravery was a good choice, man. Close combat, tailwind support, brave bird hits hard. I was just scared about the Rotom, but you can't let one Pokemon scare your entire team, right? Okay, we've got a, we've got a normal character here. He don't he don't mess around. He don't update his uh, outfit at all. So we do we are going to see some follow me action on right right now. And if I was to guess, I would see a Dynamax. From, I would see a Dynamax from the Extra Drill, Max Rockfall. But I think I do survive that. It depends how much I survive that. So I think I'm not going to fake out. If you fake out a Togekiss, can it do follow me? It can't, right? So I think, I think I'm pretty safe here to Max Geyser into the Extra Drill and just fake out the uh, Togekiss. The next turn, we just revisit it. Let me think that through. Max Geyser into the Extra Drill. He's going to Dynamax his Extra Drill, I think. So I can't fake out the Extra Drill, but I can fake out the Togekiss instead of a, it would to stop a potential follow me. Um, okay, let's go for that. I think that's the play. I think it... Yeah, Extra Drill's going anyway, so who's going to bring? Probably Rotom Wash. Yeah, we're going to get Rotom Wash. So maybe there I should have foresaw that, and I could have gone for... Okay, he's going to Dynamax the Togi Kiss. I almost called it a Togepiss. <laughs> okay. And he's gonna go for what? A max max flare onto the Tug of Maru or a max airstream to boost his, sp his speed. I would have liked to do a max airstream myself onto the uh onto the uh, extra drill slot, but I couldn't risk it. I had to go for it, I think. So his Togekiss is faster than my Gyarados. So he's fa max speed, right? With his uh with his Togekiss. So Dynamax in here was a mistake. Could, could potentially be a mistake. So that's a very good turn on his part. Fake out, I ain't gonna do Jack on that Togekiss. Yeah, Max Flare onto the Togedomaru. Interesting. 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 So now the issue is, now we're gonna see the Rotom or the Togekiss KO the Togedomaru and get a lightning 
Get sorry, get a thunder uh, electric attack onto the Gyarados, which is obviously times four. So this is not looking good. This is not looking good. I might have to switch out my Gyarados, you know, because it's, 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 like his Pokemon are faster than both of mine. Unless I can get, unless I can risk a, I've got an assault vest on my Gyarados, so I could survive it, guys. I could survive this. Do I nuzzle the Togekiss? I'm tempted to just nuzzle the Togekiss and max overgrowth onto the Rotom, and then we'll see. Nuzzle, oh, I outspeed it. So maybe a zip zap would have been good there, but I think paralysis is the best bet right here. Honestly, like long term. We did activate his weakness policy. Didn't think that, didn't think that through. So that's something, that's something to learn. Max overgrowth will connect onto the Rotom. So let's hope this does a lot of damage. It's enough to get the KO. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, that's great news. That's great news. It's not so much of a good news that the Togekiss is times two right now. But it could, it could, it could paralyze. It could be fully paralyzed right here, and we do get rid of a big threat to our Gyarados. Max Flare onto the Togemaru. That's fine. That's okay. We can live with that. We can live with that because now we're gonna bring out an extra drill, or we're gonna bring out the Giraladon. Giraladon will get KO'd by a. Okay, so we outspeed the Togekiss here with the extra drill, but we don't outspeed it with the Gerald. Or even if we do outspeed it with the Geraldon, like he can max flare onto us, or he can he can max Starfall onto us, which will do a lot of damage. So I think I bring the ex extra drill out. If he brings his extra drill back out, I might have to target the, his. He's got he's gone for Arcanine. He's gone for Arcanine. So I think, I think right now. Uh, my attack's gone down one. Do I double into the Togekiss run? That's the question. Or do I go straight for the Max Quake or the Max Guy? Do, do, do I go for a Max Quake onto the Arcanine? And a Rock Slide? Well, Dynamax can't flinch right now. Dynamax can't flinch. This is a tough one. I might have to double up into the, uh, into the Togekiss. Max guys or Max Quake? I think we might have to hope for we might have to hope here for a, para, a fully paralyzed Togekiss, you know. I think that's the play. We have to hope for just paralyzed. Obviously, yeah, we have to hope this Togekiss just stays fully paralyzed right now. Okay, it doesn't. We have the heat wave. Okay, so that's not that's no good there. That's not great. That's not great. Do you think the max? Do you guys think the max guys would have carried there because of the sun? The, the sun was the reason I was worried. Let's hope it's paralyzed. No, max flare though. Okay. Okay. So we both lose our Dynamax now, and now I'm bringing in a Giraladon. Bring a Giraladon, which is modest. And what's the speed like? Speed's kind of slow, you know. We don't outspeed this Togekiss. We just don't. Yeah. The uh, the Intimidate... Yeah, the Intimidate definitely was a factor there. Uh, from the Arcane Iron side. Um, now I have to play this very carefully here. I'm fast... Oh, I'm faster than this Togekiss anyway because it's paralyzed. That's good. So I think, yeah, I have to waterfall the Arcanine and I have to flash cannon the Togekiss. I know it's simple. That's all I can do here, really. That's all I can do. I think. Like, sometimes I do over overthink, but sometimes I also rush, which is not great either. Like, look, he's taking his time, so he's got more time to think about his turn than I did. But honestly, I'm just thinking far ahead. The Arcane will move first here. I don't think it, it doesn't have a max lightning or it doesn't have. There we go. So Tokyo's went for the follow me. Will O Wisp onto who? The Gyarados. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, so. I don't think we KO here. No, we don't KO here at all. And we know my Dryadon is super slow. Bro. Bro, the Togekiss survives. The Togekiss survives. 
Now, who is his last Pokemon? Do we know who his last Pokemon is? We do, right? It's the extra drill. Yeah. I can't. Uh, so unlucky to not knock, knock out that RK9. If we did, we would have won this, I think. Do I Draco me to the RK9 here? Do I waterfall the Togekiss? And do I just do I just do I Draco me to the uh or do I dark? Okay, let's just hope this let's hope this gets rid of the RK9. Let's hope. Heat wave. It misses the Gyarados and it connects with the Duraladon, which is not great. Not great at all. And we get the burn. Great. Waterfall the Togekiss. Let's see that. Let's see if this Dark Pulse will connect. Let's see if the Dark Pulse will connect. I'm not sure if well, it will connect, but I'm not sure if it will KO. I should have Draco Meteor did it, you know. I should have Draco Meteor did it. Yeah, good, good play, good play by this guy. Good, well, well, very well played. I think I still think I'm doing what I can though. I still think I'm doing what I can, honestly. His extra is gonna come back in. The question is like. Does the extra drill like go for a rock slide here? Or is it faster than me? I think it's faster than both of my Pokemon, honestly. It is. So I might go for the Earthquake and just protect on the Dryadon here. And just hope for a miss. I think that's what I do. Draco Meteor won't really do much to the extra drill. Normal Dark Pulse, really. Oh, screw it. Screw it. Screw it. It's grassy terrains so that does... Okay, miss, 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 miss. No, no. Rock slide. Miss, 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 miss. No. <laughs> yeah, GG, GG. Ah, man. Good game, though. Good game. I think their Protect maybe have been the bad idea. It might be good to just get rid of the Arcane and then it's 1v1 versus the Extra Drill and the Duraludon. Because who knows? His Extra Drill could have been Scarfed. And if that's the case, then it's just... You know, I still lose, I think. Now the grass is gone. Okay. I think I did okay there, though, because I think if we did get the miss on the Rock Slide, we we we're, we got one, more, one extra turn. So I think that was the right play by me, still. Ultimately, the Intimidate from the RK9 that didn't allow us to then knock it out with the Max Quake earlier with the Gyarados. I'm still thinking, even though we were minus one, I'm still thinking the Max Gyarados might have been better with the same type of attack bonus. I think it would have been, actually. That's my fault. But it was in the sun as well, right? We are in the sun, so... Yeah, who knows? Let's just see, at this point, how much... This was the, the, the extra drill. <laughs> Why not? Why not? It's going to be GG anyway. So good game. Critical hit. Uh, that was a good game to be fair. I do think it was. Well played to the opponent. And uh, so we're, take, we're taking the, the first battle as a loss. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So one more. I'm going to try and keep these uh, videos shorter. I took some feedback from you guys. You want to see shorter um battles or shorter episodes but less edited so we're not gonna edit this much we're gonna go you know just show our whole battle and i'm super low right now i was 2000 in the world at one point with my old wheezing team then we had that horrible night where we just we just tilted um okay okay mr arcadius is back again i think i go with i think i go with togo damaru okay I mean, he can fake out he can fake me out quicker than i can fake him out ah oh, tricky one guys I'm gonna try and get a tailwind off. Honestly, I'm gonna try and get a tailwind off here. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like this team. Man. I don't, I don't, I don't like my team. Make sure, let's make sure. Let's make sure I actually pick a team though. Okay, screw it. We're, go, we're going with bravery and Togedomaru. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Then we're gonna go with a extra drill in the back and the Gyarados in the back. Screw it. Screw it. It's better to pick a team than not pick a team, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. Man, VGC is stressful, you know. Like, I feel like I'm not getting better right now. I feel like I'm plateauing. I feel like I'm indigo plateauing. <laughs> is, that, is that even a thing to say? I'm not sure if it is. High Dragon and Raichu. Okay. Okay. So, we don't have to worry about any electric attacks right now. No Thunderbolt's going to work on either side. So, my bravery is okay. I think my bravery is okay to Tailwind once. 
I think I'm okay to Tailwind. Will the Raichu fake out the Bravery though? That's the question. Do I go for, do I go for a double protect here? I could double protect. Or do I risk the Tailwind? I think I risk the Tailwind. Honestly, I do think I do risk. I think I risk the Tailwind, man. Or do I fake out the High Dragon as well? Do I Tailwind and fake out the High Dragon just in case? Man, you really don't get long to think, do you? <laughs> yeah, fake out onto who? Yes, that's what I wanted. Flame throw. Okay, so it's getting rid of. Okay. Smart play, smart play, smart play. Protect would have been good there. Protect, protect would have Okay. Just you know, going back in time, protect would have been good. Uh, but at least we do get the tailwind out now. Now I need something that's going to mess with that Raichu. Keep in mind that the Raichu does have. The Raichu does have. Focus Sash. The Raichu does have Focus Sash, and we know the High Dragon also has. The, the High Dragon has Flamethrower. So we have to do some big boy plays here. Do we close combat the High Dragon and just get rid of the Raichu? Sorry, and get, and get rid of the High Dragon. And do we Rock Slide? Who do we sacrifice here? Do we sacrifice the Bravery? Or do we sacrifice the. Raichu is a bigger threat. Raichu is a bigger threat here. So I think we, I think, I think we go with, I think we max airstream onto the Raichu. I think we rock slide and hope it hits. Let's hope it hits, because at least we maybe flinch the high dragon. We definitely get the KO on the Raichu. We've got the Gyarados in the back, which doesn't like Raichu. We're gonna see a Dynamax here from from me. Was that a mistake? Do I just Brave Bird the Raichu? I'm already in Tailwind. I think I just Brave Bird the Raichu and saved the uh, Gyarados Max Dynamax. I think I made a mistake there. Or I go with the Extra Drill Dynamax to be able to do it, to be able to survive the potential Flamethrower. At least the Raichu's gone. What? Nah, man. What? That's crazy. Had Dragon flinched, right? Beerus, Arceus, praise you both. Praise you both, man. Praise you both. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Max Nook onto the High Dragon. Rock Slide again. Let's go. Let's go. I shouldn't have celebrated so much. Now my Rock Slide is going to miss. I'm going to miss both Rock Slides. Thank you. Beerus, I love you, man. Arceus, I love you both. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry to my opponent. That's one of the ones where if you're in a VGC tournament right now, you're so, you're so, like, uncomfortable. You feel so bad for the opponent. But inside, you're like... But in, but in person, you're like... Oh, sorry for the miss. Uh, sorry for the flinch, man. Sorry. Inside, you're like... Let's go. That action, by the way, was me playing the guitar. It wasn't something else. I was playing the guitar, I promise. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have a, we have a, okay, Rock Slide again. Rock Slide for the win. Rock Slide for the win again. we plus one attack. This should KO the Gyarados, but he can see Dynamax. He's going to Dynamax the Gyarados, isn't he? Inny, 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 inny. Why did I go quick there? Why did I, why did I go quick? Why did I... Oh, man. I got too gassed. Beerus giveth and Beerus taketh away, right? Rotom Lomo is actually sick, you know. Flinch, flinch, flinch. Yes! Let's go! Let's go. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. This music's gas. Me I'm so gassed right now. I'm so gassed. Oh, that's calm. That's calm. That's calm. Hey, let's go. Dabs in Spanish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, Brave Bird. Rush slide. I'm way too gassed right now. Oh, 
Gandalf is victorious. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I can't believe I, I, I just celebrated way too much on a double flinch. Like, I shouldn't celebrate that much. I feel bad now. I was just trying to be entertaining for you guys. Choice Scarf High Dragon. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Yeah, we, we knew that. Wait, Arcadian. Arcadius, is this you? <laughs> Yo, Arcadius, is this you, bro? This could be Arcadius, you know. But he wouldn't be this. Would you be this? Would you be this low down in the, in the thing? And you're not Spanish, right? Either. Are you Spanish? I don't know. All right, let's see where we are in the rankings now. I know it's still not. <laughs> I know it's still not going to be very pretty, guys. But it's worth seeing. We've fallen off a bit, if I'm being honest. But is what it is. We'll, we'll get back there. We'll get back there. We've got to find a team. The issue is with making content. It's like. I can't like main one team. So 15,000 now. We've got to get, we've got to get back to 2,000, man. It's embarrassing being here. It's embarrassing making public videos and being all the way down here. But like, either I stay with one team and just get to like the top. Maybe, maybe, maybe I do that off camera. Maybe off camera, I'll grind with one team to try and get high again and then come back with the switch up the teams, okay? Anyway, we are going to leave it there for today. Uh, I'm trying out, you know, you know, less amount of battles for you guys, but more, but, well, I'm trying less battles for you guys and also less edits. So hopefully it's still the same length of video, just without the edits. I think that's cool. Uh, also, I want to give a quick shout out to Aaron Savatrong Zeng. He's very close to hitting 100,000 subscribers. Um, and I've been a fan of him for years. Uh, I've been subscribed to him on my main channel for like years now. Um, he really, I really, really learned a lot from him in VGC, especially back then as well, and especially and, and also now. So if you guys could go subscribe to him, that would mean a lot. His channel is called uh, Savatron Productions. I'll leave a link in the description uh, and I'll put like a little banner on the screen right now. Make sure you go and check him out. He's so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers, so it would be awesome if you guys could go and do that. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching this episode right now. Laura's told me to be quiet, so I've got to be quiet now. Um, I've got things making noises, so I think I've got to go. But yeah, take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment down below um to teach me to help me improve still i still got a long way to go man i'm just i think i'm not built for this game i'm just not smart enough like i, I think I, I think i can never be smart enough you know what i'm saying so that's a sad realization that's a sad realization but i won't give up we're gonna do this through pure determination but yeah thanks for watching guys i appreciate it make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow for another video peace out